Right, moving on to goal three, we got a draft challenge. Uh, draft for at least 820 yards or 750 meters in metric and place at least third. All right, so another two laps at 24 hour circuit. So since I have to place third, I'm not going to bother with the uh, hiring Eric. And still no PR requirement. All right, so 750 is the goal. Need to finish third. And we got once again rolling start. like that 750 pretty easy drafting goal and, uh, let's climb up to the third place now Obviously, overtaking first place isn't something that's out of the question here. Quite easily doable, but uh, I'm going to stick to the bare minimum tactics here, even though they have a PR requirement for this event, so I have to increase my PR at some point. But for now, let's see. Wonder what kind of top speed this car can get down these more sand straights. down the second Mosin Street. This section isn't quite as extended, so I won't get as high top speed, but uh, still over 300. Not bad. Let's see, this is another very long straight that we get on the return side of the track here. Following the Mosen corner. Alright, so about 320. That's pretty good. Of course, the false first false end straight is the longest straight in the track, so we're looking to hit above 320 for top speed, which is pretty incredible. Thanks to that rolling start. Three minute fifty one and change. It's pretty slow, isn't it? All right, so let's see what kind of top speed I can get on that first Molson straight in the second lap. Alright, the 
this car is pretty grippy, so I should be able to take it flat out. There we go. Of course, if I had some help from some of the opponents, I would be getting a higher top speed, but uh, you know, I get a slow grid, so I have to do this on my own. 321, 2, 23, 24. 325. Oh, just a little bit of crash at the end. All right, so 325. That is a serious speed. Oops. Second and third place guy. Uh, they're they're traveling together. So it might get a little tricky trying to catch up since they're drafting each other essentially. But as always, they do overcompensate around these corners. No exception in this one. And once again, third place is what they were asking. Third place. separation from the second place Nielsen. Some 600 meters of separation. Whoa! Little extracurricular activities happening there. Ah, Ferrari. Just spin this guy, that guy out. Romano. Hmm. Deploying some dirty tactics there. To keep my eye on you, Buster. Let's reclaim my third place. Once again, we'll just kind of take our time. So uh, they asked for third place finish, so no need to really do any more. But I guess my side mirror got a little damage there. What did that happen? Probably when I crashed into that corner, right at the end of the first Molson Street. Alright, time to bring it on home. Nice and easy. Nice and nice and easy. Come on, stay behind. Behave yourselves. There we go. Another goal complete. Yeah. Considering these, this event is taking place entirely at the 24-hour circuit with the multiple lap cup races, the fame bonus, if you are fairly new to the game alone, should make it worthwhile running through a few, uh, at least a couple of stages if you can upgrade your car high enough. By high enough, I mean without investing any gold. Alright, does put the car solidly in red. We'll see if I need to service. But before that, let's check out what the next goal is first. There we go. Goal 3 complete. Moving on to goal 4. So I'll see you there.